Beach safety has rescued more than 500 swimmers from the ocean in Volusia County in just the last two weeks and conditions going into the weekend will be the same. West 2's Claire Metz joins us live now from Daytona Beach and Claire lifeguards have been incredibly busy today. Yeah, it's really been that way. One rescue after another. In one case, three people from Lakeland were pulled out of the ocean, two expected to recover, to be okay. But a third was unresponsive. CPR started. All are in the hospital. And, of course, that's in addition to a drowning in Daytona Beach shores yesterday. We have very hazardous rip current conditions. The water is uh, its really bad out there right now. It's been rough seas along the Volusia County coast through much of May, and now here we are June, same thing. The ocean floor took a beating during our hurricanes, and wind-driven waves since then have continued to pound holes in the sandbar rip currents run through. Swimmers often don't realize what they're up against, and before you know it, they're pulled out over their heads panicking. We need people to make sure they come down on the beach and swim in front of a staff lifeguard tower. If you get down on the beach, there's not a lifeguard, find one. In Daytona Beach Shores Thursday, a 76 year old man from Kentucky was found unresponsive in the water. He died at the hospital. Unclear if he got caught in a rip or had a medical issue, but three swimmers rescued today were in a rip current and they were nowhere near a lifeguard tower. There are at least 30 towers staffed today, twice that over this upcoming weekend. So that's good news to know. And in fact, that's what you're asked to do. Seek out one of those towers. So far today, about 38 rescues. We're waiting to hear about the condition of those folks from Lakeland, particularly the man who was in such bad shape. Uh, Volusia County Beaches wants to remind everyone they do have an app that can be downloaded with any smartphone. It's got real time information, can tell you what ramps are open what staffed lifeguard towers there are. It's really something to take with you if you've got a smartphone to download that and bring it to the beach. It's helpful in more ways than one. We're live in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. Claire Matz, West, 2 News.